Hi, and welcome back to part five of this series on how to make money and get paid online the right way with Google AdSense. Uh, it has been a while. The last time we uh, put this uh, together was on uh, June 13, and today is uh, December 20th, so it has been a few months. Um, before we get started, I wanted to give you an uh, update on these two items. Well, we had issues with our original content writer, so essentially that delayed you know, uh, the project on this website. So really, f uh, the deadline to make money initially, we were targeting November 23rd, but now we are going to push it a uh, couple of months, uh, making it uh, January 23rd, 2012 instead. And then also, we will be using a different site uh, instead of the one that we uh, you know, started the series with. This is actually, uh, let me uh, show you this before we get going. It's uh, really a, what I call a sister site, very similar to the layout uh, design content of the original, but we are going to use this one uh, instead of uh, the other one, which uh, if I pull that up, um, I believe that is mycarinsurance.net. So let me, let me do this. Uh, how this is going. So if I go my car dash insurance dot net that you will notice is very similar to this site. Um, you know in the layout and whatnot, but uh, for our purposes today we are really going to be focusing on the compare site. So uh, as far as a recap what we have done so far uh, the first point is to really find a profitable area and niche to focus on if you want to make money online. Uh, so for our case, we are you know focusing on car insurance, which is a profitable area as it's a very competitive area. A lot of players, as you know, are friends at uh, Progressive, uh, Allstate, and whatnot. Um, so really in the first part what we did was we showed you do some keyword research with a number of tools include including google.com slash adwords then um, after you have let's say a list of four to five keywords then you need to register the domain really need to come up with a cool domain which is uh, not only uh, eye-catching but uh, you know has keywords in it and we used a site uh, called bustername.com to do that Moving on, uh, then you need to focus on your website design. Um, here we discussed that, uh, you know, the hierarchy uh, structure, you need to have nice navigation, easy to follow, nothing complicated, uh, simple yet elegant uh, layout. And uh, like I mentioned, you know, we started with this site, but really from, uh, from this point onward, we are going to focus on this, status, this site instead. And uh, really, the reason for this is uh, our original content writer was supposed to be working on this, uh, which never uh, materialized. Uh, and then in the meantime, I personally started working on this one. So that is, that is why it has uh, taken us a little bit to get there. Uh, moving on, the next point we covered in the series war was content, which as you know, the saying, uh, content is king. Uh, definitely very important topic. You have two choices. You can either create your own content uh, if you have some time and have decent uh, writing skills. If you do not, then maybe hire someone to write the content for you. And for our case, uh, we, we did this half and half. We wrote some of the content and we also hired some other people, uh, especially for the blog portion of it. And nowadays you can get uh, you know somebody fairly um, at competitive prices. Now in the last section we did cover Google AdSense. We went over essentially you know the initial setup and the basic layout as it is a pretty uh, cool application from Google. And then uh, we did not get a chance to cover the reports which we are hoping to do that possibly in, in part six or part seven, okay? Now enough about that, you know, what is really today's agenda? What are we going to focus on today? Well, we already, you know, have the content written. We covered Google AdSense. In fact, we showed you how to put the ads and whatnot. But today we need to go back to the content and really revise it for a from an uh, SEO perspective, from the search engine optimiz uh, optimization point of view, okay? And if you can remember, or maybe you haven't seen this, um, in our old site, we, we were covering this page 
uh, which essentially you know we have the same page here so let me pull that up here this has already been optimized for SEO and we are essentially going to you know walk you through through some of the steps in here uh, real quickly uh, as you can notice uh, you know we have a little bit of navigation up here in fact we have some drop down and whatnot uh, we have animation going uh, right in this section you could possibly put an image if you wanted to then our content really you know stays on the left side we talk about insurance coverage you know what are some of the types liability insurance um, we go over some examples before I go further you'll notice that we have Google Ads running on the right side and we also are partnering up another company to provide us insurance codes uh, you know on, on this page then moving on again we have um, Google Ads in the middle which happens to be a very hot area for click-through rate and then we have other types of coverages we are discussing moving on we go on to comprehensive collision coverage uh, automatical payments more ads a little bit of picture and then some content and then finally uh, some related links and a footer down here okay so very basic layout of a website it seems to work uh, you know for the most part so let me uh, let me come back to my sort of like slide I don't really have a slide usually I do have a PowerPoint but today I'm just winging it with uh, this uh, notepad so today uh, you know like I said we will be looking at this before I get into this uh, please visit our site datatechnologyllc.com for SEO ideas also we are offering hundred dollar Google AdWords credit in the next uh, 30 days if you sign up for a package and you can email us for more info okay so uh, before I start talking about SEO we are going to actually go ahead and use a rank checker which is a tool for for Firefox from seobook.com excellent tool it basically lets you put in a keyword your website and it will give you the rankings the current rankings on your keywords okay so we will do that first then next we will talk about uh, keyword keywords per page okay now remember today really our focus is going to be uh, on page optimization uh, maybe next time or one of these days we can talk about off page so we will really focus on the page itself we will talk about uh, let's say meta tags you know body tags uh, let me see images uh, the file and directory structure I'm just uh, making up a list of things we need to cover um, the sitemap obviously and then uh, possibly keyword density and then some SEO tools that are out there that can uh, make your job somewhat easier okay so let me switch over to Firefox I'm going to go ahead and like I said um, run uh, this rank checker and if you uh, have Firefox um, this is uh, once you install the plugin you can Google uh, rank checker or you can just simply go to seobook.com but this is what it looks like when you click on it it is going to go ahead and uh, it's sometimes for whatever reason it kind of goes in the background but uh, here's what it looks like you can actually save some of your projects um, on your site so we just uh, created an, uh, another one called test and uh, the way you look at this is that <coughs> I'm having some issues with my computer I don't know if it's uh, needs to be patched up or something like that so I apologize if you bear with me here maybe I'll just pause and come back anyway so you'll notice uh, this is the way this works okay we have the domain which is compare insurance-car.com we have the keyword that we're putting in and then the last time I ran it uh, looks like it's showing that on Google it's 59 which is not uh, not bad you know but we need to really get into I would say the top uh, 30 or top 
40 at the very least to get coverage. In Yahoo, we're doing a little bit better. Uh, you know, we are showing up and then Bing, again, we need some work to do. And the way you do this is you go to uh, multiple keywords. So let me <coughs> apologize, I'm jumping all over the place here. Let me copy this since I'm a little bit lazy. And then I will come back here and uh, put the domain in here. And then uh, down here, I'm going to put in some of the other words that I'm looking for. Insurance coverage is obviously one because that is the page that we are focusing on. And then maybe compare auto insurance. Okay. So what you do is you put in your domain, you put in the keywords, you add it. It goes right here. I always like to save things. And then I'm going to go ahead and start this. You can, by the way, you can export this to a CV, CSV too. While that is running, uh, let us come back and then uh, really start, uh, you know, digging into our stuff. So as for his keywords, so the page I'm looking at today is insurance coverage. Okay. So I would say for every page, um, you know, maybe focus on one or two keywords that are going to be your driving factor. Uh, they say that, you know, essentially, if you're trying to optimize one page for, let's say, many keywords, you're going to run into some problems. So I definitely would say one or two keywords per page. So let me write that down here. Okay. And then obviously, we just, you know, start from a top top down approach, we are going to start with the meta tags and then uh, you know go from there so if I pull up my page uh, in Firefox you can just simply right click and select view page source what this is going to do is it will bring up the HTML version of the page uh, so then you can uh, kinda dissect it and do some scientific analysis for a lack of a better term now we're back in rank checker role quickly. Uh, notice that again, uh, you know, we are showing up um, in the rankings, not not um, exactly where I'd, I would want to, you know, be there. Uh, would want to be, I guess, 61 is where we're showing on Google. So, so there's a little bit of work that needs to be done, but at least, you know, at least we are we are indexed. Okay. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and then. Uh, as far as the meta tag, so the first tag we really need to focus in is the title tag, okay? It starts up here, finishes it in here, and then what I'm going to do is, in fact, I'm going to uh, select an insurance coverage and then really highlight it, I guess, is the best possible way to do it, okay? So let's go through this, um, you know, one by one. Notice that in my title tag, I start out caches tips and the reason I did this is to differentiate a little bit from you know some of the other results out there remember one of the things you need to do is to increase your click-through rate so I put that in the beginning but then I go insurance coverage including liability and comprehensive coverage remember that you also want to use different uh, you know uh, terms similar terms syn synonyms you know relative to your keywords okay so that's the idea there in my title tag, you'll notice that I basically, you know, have insurance coverage and comprehensive coverage uh, within the title. Moving on, notice where it says meta name description. I am using, you know, pretty much a nice sentence, which it says in insurance coverage. We cover car insurance terms and definitions like liability, blah, blah, blah. Uh, at least I'm using insurance coverage twice. And then moving on. Thank you for watching the sample video.